The song Christ is Enough by Hillsong off the record Glorious Ruins is a, a fun song to play right off the bat we hop into with the kind of an organic style groove um, using some rim clicks um, within this groove and then we kind of build up throughout the song we get to really hop into the pocket and the chorus uh, sections um, and then we get really big at the end of the song and we're uh, just rocking out real hard so this is a fun song to play not a whole lot going on to be able to pull it off so why don't you just go ahead and get warmed up check out the music video and let's jump in and get started Alright, so just briefly running through this groove on what's going on. Uh, we're going to count this groove in a 16th note pattern, okay? And the 16th notes are going to be counted as 1 E and a, uh, 2 E and a, uh, 3 E and a, uh, 4 E and a. Uh. Those are our 16th notes, okay? Um, and we're counting it in that pattern just because of where some hits are going to land within the groove, okay? Um, we're going to be carrying an 8th note pattern on the real, really the rim of any drum I chose right here. Um, on top of my kick just because it's convenient. It's comfortable for me, but you can choose any rim that you'd like to carry this on um, And we're just counting in eighth notes. Okay, so one and two and three and four and okay um, Our snare is gonna be hit on beat two and four um, But we're playing like some ghost notes within that um, as well So if you're not really familiar with what ghost notes are you can check out our 101 section. We've got a little uh, video on ghost notes. You can check that out and come back when you feel comfortable with those. Um, or if you don't play the ghost notes, um, just play the snare on two and four and you'll be fine, okay? Um, and then we've got some other hits that happen on the hats um, and then on, on the snare as well, just occasionally through this groove, okay? So overall, um, the bones of this groove, um, what we'll be playing is just, um, one E and a two and a three and four. Okay, so one E and a two E and a three E and four. Okay, and we're gonna play on a three E and four. And we're gonna lift up the hats on uh, the and of four. So one E and a two E and a three E and four. And then shut it right down on four. When we hit the snare okay um, now this kind of comes uh, we're gonna be playing the snare on one of those beats um, occasionally within this is two so that's gonna look like this so it's gonna be one E and a two E and a three E and four okay so three E and four so back and forth so three E and four and the and is going to be the open hat like we went over just a second ago. So three E and four. All right. So they don't do that as much um, until like towards the end of the verse. Um, we're winding down, dropping into that down chorus. All right. Um, so that's overall what we're playing. Um, just play with the loops, get it locked in and uh, just go over it a few times. Just kind of get the, the coordination of what, what all is going on. And like you said, the most important thing to do is just carry that rim click um, with the eighth notes and then the kick and snare part that is the most dominant um, part of this groove. So try to lock those in first and then start adding the other stuff uh, after you get that down. All right. So let me just go ahead and slow it down for you one more time just so you can lock it in. <laughs> 